Welcome to Future League All Access, where we're here today with Bucknell head field hockey coach Jeremy Cook. Coach Cook, how are you doing today? Uh, fantastic. Thanks for thanks for inviting me on. Now you've made some great gains in your program in your three seasons as head coach, um, placed in the top three of the Patriot League all three seasons, and obviously made the tournament each year. How do you feel the Bucknell program has progressed during your tenure? Well, we've tried to raise the bar in terms of the scheduling and play against tougher opponents every year to prepare us for the Patriot League schedule. Um, I think that that uh, putting them up against uh, teams and, and student athletes that are at a little bit higher level um, has really paid positive dividends in how, how well we uh, play toward the end of the year. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Now you lose um, some key goal scorers from last year's team, but you still have uh, your Patriot League Rookie of the Year, Rachel Misko. Uh, talk about her and others that you expect to take on some of the scoring role this season. Yeah, we're trying to actually move her up into a more uh, a role that she'll get actually more opportunities to score. She played left midfield for us last, last year, um, got a few of the goals off the corners and had a few in open field play. But I think this year um, Rachel's gonna Rachel's really going to uh, be key for us up front. Um, we have a few younger players as well. We have a, a, a young woman coming in that I think, or just starting out, that I think is going to make a really positive impact. And then uh, Mallory Smith, who's a returning senior, I think um, uh, she's sort of a set-up woman. You know, she's uh, she's great, and I think she's going to get a boatload of assists this year because we've got some other people that can they can probably put it away. Um, so we'll rely on that, uh, on the two of them, and plus the freshmen, plus uh, trying to earn corners and, and, and going with corners to get goals. Okay. Taylor Segrist, uh, she's really stepped her in for the moment she came to campus. Uh, talk about her impact and, and your expectations for her this season. She's been phenomenal. I mean, she's a she's a, a dual sport athlete here at Bucknell, which is which is kind of crazy. Um, sort of, it's a sort of a, a throwback uh, uh, kind of kind of young woman uh, to the days when everybody did that. But yeah, she uh, she throws javelin for the track team. So we had her her freshman year. She was phenomenal. Played. I think she started every game uh, playing fullback for us, and then uh, and then uh, as soon as the season's over, she does preseason for uh, for javelin with the track team over the winter, and then competes with them in the spring, and actually did really well in javelin as well. I think she finished uh, third or fourth in the league uh, in that, and then comes back and plays field hockey in the in the in the late spring, early summer uh, with the junior high performance program. Um, so it's. It's it's just been a, a phenomenal joy to, to to get to work with her. Uh, I think we're going to even put a little bit more weight on her shoulders this year, um, in terms of uh, uh, sort of leading our team out of the backfield and, and sort of organizing the defense from back there. Uh, but I think she's completely up to the task. I mean, she's a, a wonderful, wonderful person and, and works really, really hard and has some has some physical gifts that are that are that are just you know an absolute joy to, to work with. Right, you've really developed quite a rivalry with Lafayette in the past three years, playing regular season and tournament games. What about that matchup has has made it so competitive and so close between you two? I don't know. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's a neat one, huh? I mean, I think it's just the the place that we end up in the in the league and how sort of evenly matched the teams seem to be. Um, although they did beat us twice last year, which was kind of a bummer. But uh, I mean, our first year we split, you know, in in favor of us. We lost the regular season and won the won the uh, semifinal of the league, and then last year. Uh, we beat them in the regular, or the year before last year, we beat them in the regular season. And they beat us in the semifinal, and then this past year, uh, they beat us in both. So we kind of have a little bit, a little bit of something to prove this year to maybe get back on track with that rivalry. But I, I don't know what it, what it is that creates that. I know Lehigh and Lafayette are sort of the schools are so close uh, geographically that it, it, that's a big rivalry there. But I think ours is based on sort of the level of the players. Um, I think both teams will look. Um, substantially different than they did last year, but I think I, I don't doubt that it's just going to be an absolutely uh, awesome, fun game to watch uh, <laughs> this year and be just as every bit as competitive as it has been the last couple of years. Now, as you've said, you've been consistent the last couple of years, making the tournament and being in the top three. Um, but what do you think Bucknell feel like he has to do to kind of take that next step forward, not just in the Patriot League, but on a national and regional level? Well, we've tried to do that this year with the schedule. I, we've we've really tried to pump everything up just an extra notch here. So we're headed out to Michigan playing them, and we have Syracuse on the schedule this year. And um, we're we're really trying to up the level of, of of the teams that we're playing against in hopes that that really prepares us for the for the battles toward the end of the season. Now we've got a lot of back to back games, which is kind of what you need to be able to do to win the uh, to win the league. Um, I think that the the past few years, American has certainly, I think. Um, Separated themselves from the league uh, in terms of where they're playing and the level that they're playing, um, and then Lafayette and, uh, and Bucknell are on a of course, sort of a, a similar level. Maybe Lafayette had a little bit of an advantage on us last year, um, but the way that the tournament goes, it's a you know Friday Saturday thing where Lafayette and Bucknell go out and beat each other up on the Saturday, 
and then uh, you know stagger into the final and, and American has their way with us. So uh, hopefully these uh, the back to back weekends that we've got this year with some really good opposition should prepare us in a way that we can we can you know play two games in a row and really give our best effort on that Sunday. Um, that's the idea, you know, not looking past the Saturday game, but being able to have that experience of a really competitive game on Saturday and then an even more competitive game on Sunday. Um, hopefully that kind of preparation should help.